Today I'm going to show you how to work a frame behind a crocheted flower. This video is one of a series of short films we have created to accompany some of Jane Crowfoot's crochet designs. You can access other videos by visiting the Janie Crow website. All our techniques are explained using UK terminology. You can find a list of US equivalents for all videos on the website too. Right, here we go. Now I'm going to show you how to work a frame behind a crocheted flower. To do this technique you are working with the right side facing although we will be working behind the row of petals made previously. I've started by joining my yarn to a slipped to a skipped stitch behind one of the petals. I'm now going to move round to the next petal by working three chain, folding that petal back, moving round to the next petal, folding that petal over, finding the skipped stitch and working a double crochet into that skipped stitch. I can now work another three chain, fold that petal back and move to the next petal. As you can see I'm at no stage am I turning the work over to the back. I've always got the front of the work facing me. I simply fold the petal down and work a double crochet into the skipped stitch. Fold back the result is if you're using a contrasting colour here you get these lovely accents of colour on your flower. Work three chain and move over to the next petal, folding that one back, fold the petal down. On this one, this is the an example of where you've got a skipped stitch and the slipped stitch from the first round. So ignore that slipped stitch and push your hook through the skipped stitch. Three chain, fold that petal back, move to the next petal, double crochet, three chain, Petal back, double crochet, and then three chain, and then you can fasten off in that first double crochet. 